the black is a bit too deep for me, no? Are we rolling? No, no. No? no. You started collecting watches at the age of nine. You have published eight books on watches over 20 years, and now you travel the world as watch consultant and interviewer of famous designer and founders of different watch industry. Is it correct? Did I forget something? I didn't start to collect when I was nine. I was drawing my own watch magazine. And I think I was the only kid in town who had Patek Philippe stickers underneath his skateboard. <laughs> So, you know, my interest of horology was quite obvious from a very young age, definitely. What, what do you think Code 41 represents today in the watchmaking world? Well, I've known you since around, what, 2016? Yeah, that's when we started. Yeah, I think when the Megascape came out, it was it's completely different. Coming out with a watch like this, in this size, that you actually put into your pocket, it's a beautiful piece just to look at. It's a beautiful piece to touch and There's also a beautiful sound in here. <laughs> the uncluttering of the dial is also very charming. If you had to put this into a wristwatch, it would probably be a little cluttered. And this is a pool I would like to dive into. Dive into that little microcosmos of horology. So if you want to have something that reminds you of something that is not automated, then you have this. We have everything that we need on a mobile phone. I mean, I, I have an app that tells me if I'm out of milk in my fridge, <laughs> right? This is fighting against total automation of our environment, I think. I think the goal of this anyway is not to tell the time, mm -hmm. but it's really to, to enjoy the time. Would you use it? I would definitely use it on my office desk. And then I would, on my old Land Rover, I would build something <laughs> where I could put it on the dashboard. Because in an old Land Rover, you need both hands on the steering wheel a lot. I'm really curious to see where Megascape will be in five years' time because it needs to, to find its, its place. If other brands would maybe say, okay, let's try our own Megascape, because in the end, the Megascape is the name of the category, not the name of the collection. That could be also a good way for evolution. This is not to, to sound arrogant or anything, but if you look at your colleagues in the watch world, How much wristwatch do you get for 10,000 Swiss francs? You get a two-hander, maybe two-hander with a date and a second hand. For get complications, you need to put a bit more money. So you get the regular tour, you get the seconds, you get the date, you get the skeletonized movement, you get the eight days power reserve indicator, as well as a secondary time zone. How much would that be in a wristwatch? 14, 15,000? Yeah, this depends all of the brands, of, of course, course, but uh, of course. it's true. Honestly, Claudia, I'm super impressed. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you what proves this is a gorgeous timepiece. I have not once even checked if the time is correct. <laughs> And I think that's when you know you have a perfect design, when you just look at the beauty and enjoy the art in it then you know you've made the, the, the right watch. It was a big risk for, for us. You know, we are a small company. We cannot make too many mistakes. Mm. And having this kind of feedback from people like you that knows a little bit about watchmaking, mm. it's very, very encouraging for the future. Because as you said before, there is a lot of people when we were doing the project that were saying, okay, are you sure you want to go in this direction? And, uh, and then in the end, you say, okay, yeah, because it's exploration. Uh, The feeling is good, the vision is there, I want to try it and let's do it and let's see. Congratulations, so, this, this, is, this is truly something. Thank you very much for your, your feedback and I'm very happy that you love this project at least as much as we do. Yeah. It's super exciting to actually, you know, look at it with your fingers if you like and uh, get the sheer weight of it. And again, thinking the evolution of the Mechascape, it's, it's brilliant. Thank you so much for having the chance to see this. Thank you, see you soon then.